All right, here is an easier way to do that uh, effect that somebody's calling Effecto Tecto Roto in Corel X7. Well, this is X6 that I'm using here, and uh, I watched the video, or part of the video that they, they had, and uh, uh, first thing, it's all music with just stuff right, and I don't like videos like that if people can't talk to you. And then also, uh, there's a lot simpler way to do it. Anyway, on the broken, uh, I've, I went ahead and put it in here, and I'm just using an Arial Black uh, font uh, sized up so we can see it. And I've also got a slice uh, word down here. And uh, back on that other uh, image uh, where the uh, dance was kind of broke up, and it was like part, part, you could use the slicing to, to do that. But it's real simple to do. So the first thing that I did after I got the uh, text in here uh, is I wanted to make myself a reference point out here. So I just came over to the ellipse tool and I just made a little dot and then filled it black and got my tool there and I drug it over here and stuck it out here. and. Uh, you know, so it's just a, all it is is just a reference. And another thing that I kind of want to do here is I want to uh, uh, get some uniformity in here. So I'm just going to take a uh, something in there again, give myself a reference. You don't really need the references, but uh, you know it's whatever. And so I'm going to make myself a box, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to put it under there, and I'm going to duplicate it again. So I've got my uh, boxes, select them all, and well, I hit the wrong one, and hit C, and it lines them all up. And so then I'm going to control G just to kind of group those, and selecting it first and going to the broken, I'm going to hit E, which then centers this on this, and I can do the same thing here, I can do, and hit E, and that centers it up and down this way. So I'm at this point here. Uh, I'm going to back this out just a little bit uh, to take a look at. I'm, all I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the pen tool. And I'm going to take the pen, and I'm going to lock it on that node, and I'm going to draw out there. And I'm going to hit the, lock it on that node, and draw it out here to this point. And once I've got off that point, I've got that line there. Then I'm going to take here. Draw out that point again. Here, draw out that point again. Here, and draw out that point again. So now I've got got my deals there. I can take these if I want and get rid of them. I don't really need them anymore. You know, I've got my stuff here. So now the thing that we're going to do is we've got these lines drawn over our deal, over our text. What we want to do is we want to come up here and you're going to want to pick what's called the Smart Fill Tool. Just click the Smart Fill Tool. And we're just going to come down through here and start clicking. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. We can click in between each one of these lines. Right on down the word and get all the pieces in there. Scroll over here. So now that we've got all that on there, we can then take and select these. If we want that one up there a little different, let's, let's just do this. Let's get this one, this one, this one, and this one. And control G to group those. And I'm going to go ahead at this time, and I'm just going to arrow it up. And then I'm going to come in here and grab these. Control-G to group those. And I'm going to arrow them up a little bit just so I can see it. And then 
come through here, come through the center. There you got it, okay. So I'm gonna grab this bottom, control G, drop it down a hair, and then I'm gonna go get that last little part right there. So now I've got that. get rid of these lines and I've got my pieces that are in there so if I take this and kind of swipe and put it back together select my deals raise them up just a hair I can come in here in the back and kind of get rid of all that in the background so I've got my pieces apart so now I can you know move them to wherever I want and adjust them however I want to do to get the broken effect so that's really up to you whether you want to stagger them back and forth but that's that's how you do it the slice we're just gonna slice one in half is it, extremely simple. just put a line come across put a line uh, Drop the deal, get the smart fill. Select each piece. Drop that out of there. We're going to grab the top. And I'm holding the shift key down as I uh, uh, click on them to uh, <coughs> do a multiple select. I'm going to do control G. I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to come in here and grab these. Control G. Lower it down. Select the text behind. Control X. Get rid of it. Then if I want to go ahead and change this to black or whatever I've got, I've got it. So, you know, I mean, uh, instead of doing all that polygramming and stuff the guy did in the other one and and everything you know you, you basically have this if you want to you know shift stuff over you like you want to take this over and down and and say this one over you know and up a little bit and, you know this like that and however you want to do it and you've got yourself a, a really nice text effect you know that you can throw in there, you know, to eat a vinyl cut or do whatever. So that's uh, another little tip there. Later.